What are you doing? A ritual, I suppose you'd call it. An experiment of sorts. Well, you have interrupted me. I, I had to tell you about Julia. She was so upset, she never even came down for dinner. Well, perhaps the estimable doctor was resting from her shock. She will need that rest. She will have no more tonight. What's going to happen? An Indian I knew in Barbados long ago taught me the secrets that he used when he needed enormous power, a brilliant man. His tongue, he said, spoke into the ears of the gods. It was true. But society, my dear Carolyn, seldom is kind to one as privileged as he. He was jailed and tried as a warlock. A male witch, my poor uneducated child. Of course, he was sentenced. And was he killed? When the soldiers came to hang him, the cell was empty. He escaped? Yes. You see, the gods told him the secret magic number of the universe. The number which unlocks all the rules that binds you mortals to your daily dull lives. The number is whispered so deeply into the soul that no one can remember it without using the magic. Oh, Barnabas, really? You doubt what I tell you? No one believes in magic numbers. Next thing you'll be telling me you can conjure up a ghost. No, 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 no. Although there's one that I live to see. The power that the Indian gave me is the ability to plant a germ in someone else's mind and then, of course, to watch the disease spread. Barnabas, perhaps I'd better be going. No, you mustn't, my dear Carolyn. You are a witness. You will no longer doubt magic. Now I am ready. 